A little over 20 years ago, I had the wonderful opportunity to spend uh, two weeks over the holidays in Great Britain. And one of their traditions there on Christmas Day is that the Queen of England addresses her subjects on TV. And people are very serious about her speech. They seem to be glued to the TV. And there she is in all her regal and royalness reading her speech to her subjects and people glued on every word she's saying. After she's done, people tend to get around the table and talk about what she said. Even the next day in the tabloids and newspapers, there's lots of commentary on her speech. Now, of course, as an American, I kind of thought this was strange because we didn't grow up with kings and queens here. Plus, you know, we have a little bit of history with England, breaking free from the king of England and his rule. So, still, even through all of that, English people love their monarch. And it really helped me to gain a little bit more respect for her and for that position. So why am I telling you my story and the story about the Queen? Well, it's interesting that today just happens to be the day that the church celebrates Jesus as our King. So let me ask you a question. Can we become more loving and more proud of Jesus as our King, much like the British people are of their monarch or their Queen? Well, the answer is simply yes. We shouldn't be ashamed of our faith and ashamed of teaching people about Jesus. It's true that at times we may be persecuted or mocked for following Jesus' teachings. Jesus himself knew this would happen. Even in today's gospel, Jesus talks about how his kingdom does not belong to this world. Throughout history, there have been many saints who have suffered and been persecuted by people for following the teachings of Jesus. And Jesus knew that it would be hard at times for people to accept this. For example, one of his teachings is that we should love our enemy, but we here on earth say no, we want to get revenge. He also says that we should help poor people, but yet the rest of us here on earth say that poor people are just lazy and we don't want to help them. And there are many other examples. The saints didn't fall into those traps. They kept teaching about Jesus, and they kept loving Jesus. The saints, over time, were able to affect people's lives and bring those people closer to Jesus. And we can do the same thing by being proud of Jesus and proclaiming his teachings to other people and being a good example, for example, helping other people. We may get persecuted, but who, never, who knows that maybe later we might have convinced somebody to follow Jesus. Thank you, and God bless you.